Ah, I got cut short again. No. Well, in case you're wondering, my, my neighbor said it's beautiful, so that's good. Just because a couple little things I wanted to go over here. Um, these little guys here, uh, they look like decoration, but they're actually deterrents. If the female cabbage moth sees another cabbage moth, she won't lay her eggs. And uh, as you can see, the Nebraska's, isn't, there's not that many of them, but they're untouched. So these things really work. I thought it was a bit kooky at first, but they really work. Also, this is the same species uh, of wild spinach, but this is the red face. It's called ruby, and uh, I found this in a fellow's yard uh, just last week, and he gave me a couple little plants to transplant. It also comes in a gold phase, which I'd really like to find. This plant matures, it's pretty big, and produces about 75,000 seeds. So I'll be uh, bottling up the seeds, some for replanting, some to make uh, sprouts with. Apparently it's a common practice. So this piece of land that I'm working with here is about 6 feet by 20 feet. And I'm only utilizing maybe 40% of it right now. A lot of it is still pretty feral. Uh, just threw a bunch of clippings from the hedge down there and stuff just to keep the weeds under control. And that's all edible stuff growing up there. But just shows what you can do. I still have this much more to go with. So I don't know how many plants in here, but there's a lot. There's 12 corn in each one of those clusters. And they're doing really well for our climate. It's very difficult to grow cow corn in Calgary. But anyway, there it is. Back alley permaculture, weed patch, reclamation garden. Hope you enjoyed it.